Uh huh. Okay. What the hell? That's not friend. That's not friend. Good evening, and welcome back to Excess Recess. This is Docs. Uh, tonight we're firing up um, Outer Wilds. Again, this is going to be a cold start. I've never played this game before. I just got us kind of through to the actual beginning of the game, and we woke up near a campfire. Um, not really knowing what to expect, except for the short blurb that you get when you kind of look at the uh, About screen for this game. Um, and I really don't actually remember much of what it said. Uh, I've had this kind of sitting in the queue, one to play. It sounded really good, sounded like it got some really good uh, reviews, so let's have fun. Um, yeah, we started here, and I have no idea where here is. Except there's a moon with a blinky on it, which is kind of cool. Our moon doesn't have a blinky on it that I know of, or at least not yet. And we'll have to figure out. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of tutorial. Oh, okay. So the jump's a little different. You actually crouch when you push A, and then you let go and you spring up. So I don't know if that's more or less realistic. Talk to Slate. Why not? Oh. You, you look like Yoda. With four eyes, I guess. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Okay. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Solo? Well, that's gonna be, um... Sure, why not? What do you say? You off the ground. It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go, I'm ready if you are. Are you sure you fix the retro ro I don't even know what it is, so let's just go. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. Well, okay. Uh, I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminium alloys, you know. Uh, I, I, think, I think so. I don't know what you're made of, dude. You're purple, and you got, like, four eyes and weird Yoda ears, and some rather large, beefy hands. I'm pretty sure you can knock me flying. Of course, I don't know. We may look just like that. Uh, I haven't been able to see ourselves. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Alrighty, let's go say our goodbyes or whatever. Hey, it's you. Well, thanks. I didn't I didn't know it wouldn't have been me, but... Uh, Slate said you're blasting off and you're chipped today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Are you? Are you really? Aren't you going into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you, Slate. Beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? No, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go. If I don't have to fly the model ship, it'll make it a hell of a lot funnier when I try and fly the real one. Uh, you better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Oh god, I hope this doesn't turn into a challenger moment. Uh, hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. That is not encouraging. Okay, I'm going to try just because this might actually be hilarious. Okay, B is leave. Left is horizontal thrusts. Oh, and triggers are up and down. Oh, good god. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> This, if this is how flying the real ship is, we're gonna die so horribly. Horrible wreckage. Yeah, that's just done. Let's die horribly in a raging ball of fire on our own time. So, we're gonna go check out the observatory, figure out what the sweet hot. I'm not talking to you guys anymore. You guys just keep rambling on about stupid shit, and I don't care. I wanna fly into space. Take me to s zero G cave. Okay, we might play in there first. Then take me to space. I'm 
So other than we're supposed to go into space and may light this entire planet on fire as we burn rocket fuel over top of everything that's wooden, um, I don't know what the hell's going on. Why do we need to go into space? And where is this oh, zero G cave? Let's see what happens. Do I have to drop down this hole? That's a little more zero G. Press L. Okay. Hold A and match velocity. Uh, maybe I gotta get a little closer. Hold it to repair. Okay, one fixed. Now this actually does a little bit of zero-g. It's kind of cool. Um, trying to kind of control your motion. Uh, how do I get out? I guess I gotta go back in there. Whoa, dude, don't smash your head off of stuff. So I'm gonna be a new... A new pilot, the first guy to take off into space in a long time with a concussion. Yeah, let's just let's just smash through this. There we go. Now we're back to normal gravity. Now maybe I can figure out how to get the hell out of here. Where? Do I put my suit away? <laughs> hey, we put our suit away. Oh, launch towers down there. I might have missed a sign, but I don't care. I'm going in here. No, this is museum-y. This is observatory -y. Let's go see where we get launch codes. So far, they haven't given us anything by way of plot or story. Other than we haven't... No one's flown in space for a long time. And we're going to throw our ass into a rocket that may light this entire forest on fire. Sounds like fun. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to read this out loud, but I don't care. Um, the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Oh, did Hal just fix me up? Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I don't know what that is, so the fact that I even know the name is I've learned more. Uh, I'll meet up with other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna wing it. Um, that's kind of what I do. That's the whole point of me playing this game right now is I'm gonna wing it. I'm ready to get off this rock. Okay, give me the launch codes, dude. Uh, good luck out there. Let me know if you need help with anything. Let's go back through out through this museum. -y pot. Uh, son of a biscuit. Random artifact. Uh, so he gave us acid or launch codes? So I'm thinking it's acid. Uh, I will go out on a limb and say that was a save point. I'm quite literally guessing at that because I have no clue what the hell just happened. Hey dude, some weird thing opened its eyes. Oh shit, that's actually what we're saying. Hey hey. Uh it opened its eyes. What was the statue? Oh bo -bo -bo -bo. <laughs> yeah, see, you mean like a hallucination? Exactly like a hallucination. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay with launch, like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, that issue is definitely weird. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to believe me. Go look with your own four eyes. Yeah, 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 you guys keep chatting. Shut up, shut up. Let's get to dying in a ball of fire. Here we go. 
That's where we needed to do. Enter the launch codes. And come up here. Uh, see, it's a big wooden platform, people. Why? It's a bad idea. Okay, if you can do that, you should be better at uh, picking up rocks to make stuff. No, even in here it's made of wood. Good God. View ship's log. Timber hearth. Okay. Brittle hollow. Giant steep. Dark ramble. You you guys pick some. Ember twin. Ash twin. Okay, so these must be... Some of the ships. Rumor mode? Ru rumor mode. We're, we're going on rumors, right? Sure. Uh, village... Zero G oh, that's my log, basically. What the hell have I done in this game so far? Nothing. Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, you... Uh, I, don't, I don't like their engineering. Buckle up. Pretty sure when this thing explodes in a massive, fiery hellscape, the seatbelt's not helping. Alrighty. Let's follow their instructions. And... Oh, we need X's liftoff camera. Okay, so we're just going to hold the button until we are in what we can... S wow. That that took absolutely nothing to get into space. Oh, because look at these planets. Like, you can walk around the planet in seconds. Alrighty. Where do we need to go? Hmm. Oh, it was thinking too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Okay, we didn't hit it, so that was good. But we're f in orbit over it? Are we down? Okay, it looks like we've landed on it. I don't know if landed is the right word, or just sat down on it. I don't know. Okay, open hatch. Uh, that might have been the wrong thing to do, because I didn't suit up. And now I'm dead. As <laughs> soon as I clicked open hatch, I realized I'm boned. <sighs> Please don't make me take off again. Okay, they're handing out acid like it's candy. Now what? <gasps> ah, for crap's sakes. At least they have the launch codes. Mental note. When you manage to land slash crash your ass onto the rock, put your suit on before you go outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we bounced off of it. Oh, we can go to that one. Oh, that's where we were. Okay. Oh, man, I can jump pretty high. Unidentified signal nearby. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Well, cool. Someone want to... Fill me in on how you got O2 on this, um... No, I don't want to know. Let's just, let's just talk to... Esker. I'm really old. Rocking in a chair. Uh, long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long since I've seen anyone. Hmm. Don't other travelers come by? Let's just ask that one, because th the other questions all seem pretty fucking stupid. Uh-huh. -oh. The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. What things? Dude, what's going on? Um. Anything else I wanted to know? We asked. Doesn't seem lonely. Don't care what you're whistling. Just tell me what this place is. 
Uh, the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. Uh, ba -ba -da. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. My ship's made of wood, dude. Like, I mean, it can't be much crappier than that. Unknown. Jeez, I'm afraid to jump too high because I fly right off this flipping planet. I'm pretty sure that's a thing here. Unidentified signal nearby. Okay, well, um, I seem to be running <laughs> around the planet. And that might be a thing I gotta worry about. Oh, man. I keep on just tipping over the horizon. Okay. It looks like there's something in orbit around that deal. So let's go back to our ship. Which, that looks like a rather interesting object. I, I don't know. Crap. Like, I know I'm not going to fall off the planet. But it kind of gives you this weird, eerie feeling that you are going to fall off the planet. Like... I know an identified signal nearby, douchebag. I'm trying to get to that unidentified signal and I can't get out of here. And it's mainly because I'm super afraid of just flying off into space. Why? Okay, now we seem to be at this giant's deep. It looks like a gas giant, so I'm pretty sure I can't just land on it. But maybe I can land on that. Let's try. Whoa, I am inside the atmosphere, giant steep. Let's go up. Because, oh, it's kind of a water world. Holy crap. With giant tornadoes. This is terrifying. Except there's that place. So let's see if we can get through that. Let's see. No, above the water. Above the water. Danger. Ghost matter detected nearby. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Okay, that's great. Can I? I don't really got an option to fight. Oh my god, I can barely jump because the gravity is almost twice normal. So I don't think I want to go that way because I'll fall into the... Oh my god! Something ate me. Let me guess, I'm going to wake up at the campsite? Oh, I'm on the campsite. Okay, all that explosion crap, that's on, what's it called, deep. That's where I just died. Because ghost matter ate my face. Lock on in Brittle Hollow. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. But it looks like it's got another thing, uh, a moon of fiery... Ass death, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're past it. Uh, oh, man. Okay. There's the thing with the light. There's that thing. Okay, we're going to that thing only because we, we don't seem to have a lot of input, and this looks more like a landing pad thing, even though I'm so far, I'm pretty horrible at landing. X does the landing thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no. Don't crash. Don't crash. Okay, we bounced. Okay, okay, we're almost landing, but let's see if we can get to this. Oh, my God. Uh, no. No, we're upside down. That's, that's not really useful, but hey. Oh, we're almost right side up. Oh, look at me. 
The Jetsons could be so lucky. Boom! That's how you stick a landing. Magic crystals? Yeah, apparently it's not going to be very helpful. Holy sh shit on a shingle. Okay, so that planet randomly throws flaming balls of everything at us. Hold to translate. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you to record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. I'm going with brain, dude. Um, although I have had some rather wonky acid trips so far. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other mat matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. But there is fire being launched at us. I don't even want to turn around. That sounded like it was close. Uh, that rock is unusual for another reason, too. Colors and textures. I've never seen anywhere else on this planet. Uh, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should try... We should study it. Okay. Uh, I... Still not quite sure what rock you're talking about. Uh, trees do move, I confess. I didn't notice until I read his note. All right, let's let's read what this shit's got to say too. Beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Maybe I can read this thing first. Please let me read this thing first. Okay. One takes us down, one takes us up. What does this way take us? Let's get our arses down. Wow. That is... Real crazy effect on the eyes. Um... Okay, that is like the worst 1960s wallpaper I ever saw. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Just give me the quantum knowledge, dude. Oh boy. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Ascend? I just got my ass down. What does this thing do? Oh, this is some sort of teleportation Oh my god, this whole inner planet is weird. Okay, the crossroads. Hmm? Someone broke Someone broke your shit. I didn't do it. It was like that when I got here. Ascend the stairs. Alright, this is going to take us somewhere to the crossroads. Let's see what happens. We're going left. We're going left. I don't know if I picked left on... Uh, sure. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. I don't think. Anything? Anybody? That's all upside down and stuff. So is that. Oh, wow. If I jump off, then I know I gotta go back to the silly ass... Um, campsite. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So we need to make that go the other way. And I think that's just right back where we were. So I'm going to aim. Oh! Oh, we're falling into a black hole. Oh my god. Okay, can we lock on and go that way? We are almost out of oxygen. We just fell into a black hole. And hopefully we can land. Oh, I just... I was going real fast when I smashed my face into that shit. Okay. Alright, now I can walk around on this. 
So I need to either aim back for the thing we came through, if I can find it. There it is. That seems about the closest, so let's see if we can fly into this end of a singularity and if it'll drop us right the hell back where we started. Go, 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 because if we don't, we're running out of oxygen. Nope, it doesn't like that. 60 seconds remaining. Okay. So we're going to suffocate, and we know do not go through the singularity anymore. It's bad for your health. Here we go. Chokey, chokey. Uh, Tower of Knowledge things. All of which were horribly useless. We translated some alien code. And we do know some alien dude went ahead of us. Where's he done went? I do not know. Okay, let's take our alien asses off. Well, that twin planet does look far more interesting. But screw it, let's get out on this thing and wander around. That is kind of cool. Do we dare just jump in it because it'd be fun? Holy crap, I don't have a lot of choice. It's coming at me. So that's more like a weird sandstorm being sucked up into that planet. Oh, I hope it doesn't eat my ship. If it does, well, we know we'll always end up at the campsite. Okay, let's see if we got doors down here. Or we're going to figure out how to get up on top of this strange starfishy thing. You know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's probably where we were supposed to start. A flashlight, equip scope. I can't. I don't, I don't want to equip scope. I want to equip getting my ass up there. I don't know how to. Uh-oh. I don't know if we actually didn't get vacuumed up by the storm because I'm hiding in here, or if you just literally can't get vacuumed up by that storm. What the dick shit is going on? It's like... Okay, this planet's slowly being vacuumed away by the other planet, and now shit gets vacuumed away. There's some pretty awesome structures that are popping up. Oh, gosh damn it, I can't get up there. Let's run around it, see if we can get up this way. Pick up scroll. Do we... Do we eat the scroll? Oh, maybe the scroll... Three minutes of oxygen remaining. This looks like where the scroll could fit. Insert scroll. Ooh. Translate writing. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project, the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Remy found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Dude. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever... Tony would lose his own head if it were weren't anatomically impossible. Okay, can you just make sense somewhere? Make sense. Make sense. Uh, I'm going back and oh no, I want to go over the Ember Twin anyways. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I managed to. Row my ass up into space, and now I'm landing very hardly. Ow! I think I sprained my wonker. Ooh, a light thingy. Okay, let's go up that way. Let's see what happens when we go up here. No, no, no. Stay looking at it.
ship log updated. To what? Uh. Sunless City, 120 meters. So I'm gonna have to find something that lets me kill those or beat through those, I guess, those. Ah, I'm gonna die again. So far I'm having fun. I like the game. Mostly. I would like to know a little bit more what, what the hell's going on, because sure, just randomly running into planets. And I don't even know if we can... I think we're stuck in this solar system. Um, I've died enough, I don't want to purposely throw my ass out into another place, but... What the hell? What else is this game good for? Fly, baby! And we're coming in hot. On the dark bramble. Oh. We need another place made of more wood that we could possibly burn down as we try to... <gasps> There's that singularity shit that screwed with us last time. Okay, we know where that is. Did, did we just fly right through the damn planet? Are we inside it? Uh-huh. Okay. What the hell? That's not friend. That's not friend. Oh, okay. Step one. This time we're going to go to the wreckage around that giant planet. I'm trying to formulate a plan so I sound leap moron, but I'm a complete moron. Um, go to the big giant planety thing and see if we can smash our face directly into the thing that's in orbit around it, and or the blue dot that kind of seemed to fly away from it. Firing retro rockets. Oh boy. I have a feeling we're just going to smack right into this. Wow. Uh Wow. That was that was a successful landing on the surface of the nastiest looking cheese. It's going to have almost no gravity, so I'm really really concerned with jumping and flying off. Yeah. 0 0.4 gravity. Okay. I am currently stuck underneath my ship. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, what in hell is that? Do I just jump in? Why not? Wee! Oh, for fudge sakes. Pick a direction. Can I pick none of the above? What is this? What is this? Hey, what is this? Translate recording. Pi. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Okay, change the page. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Let me guess, they went deeper. 
Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand. Be careful, because you're going to die a horrible, painful death. That's the only one that doesn't seem to go down. Oh, this is like... The weirdest slip and slide. Oh, oh, oh. I went through something... Ghost-ish. Ghost. Matter. Nearby. Oh, we're coming up. Okay, down is up. Up is down. Over is through. Alright, let's slide back down this slip and slide and see if we can figure out where the hell we need to go. That's what we came out of. Ghost matter detected nearby, but I don't know what that means. Are you kidding me? Trees detected. Ooh, that's good. We just filled up our O2. And let's turn on our light. So this is the one that's taking us farther down. Ghost matter detected nearby. Don't touch the ghost matter. Get out of there, ghost matter. Oh, if you touch the ghost matter at all, you just die. I'm going to hop back on the ship and check out the log because it seems to be saving all our information on the log. See, that ghost ship, or that comet with whatever on it, seems to have killed something of ours. And it's probably the thing that's around the giant planet. You know, I'm expecting to find things that I can use to figure out these puzzles, and thus far, no. No, there's no, oh, no, before we do that, let's go look at our log. Hehehe, <laughs> log. Okay, ship's log. So it's kind of updating us with quantum shards, high energy lab, ash tower. Oh, that was a, a sunless city, ruptured core. Oh my god, okay. View rumored entry. Uh, the Ash Twin project was planned at the High Energy Lab, a building with the large solar panels on Ember Twin's equator. This one is... Towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. There's more to explore here. Well, well thanks. I only stopped exploring because I suffocated. Uh, trail marker for the Sunless City. But the path is blocked. I found two missing members of the Nomi shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looked like it exploded from the inside. There's more to explore here. Well, I think there's more to explore everywhere because I've just gone places and died. Um, yeah. So which one's this? Okay. Uh, I don't even know what that was. What's this one? Cave at the very center of Timber Hearth, used by the Outer Wilds Venturers to train. Okay, so that's our Outer Wild. That's home base. Giant's Deep to try and learn about the Nomi statue. <sighs> so far, this is really unhelpful. There's more to explore on the moon. Uh, all right. Mark on HUD. Let's go back to the moon. Mainly because I think it's the only place we've been that we haven't immediately died. So that seems like a logical say. Let's go back there. See if we can find anything useful, which will tell us something about how to not die immediately on the other planets. First, let's go over to Esker's camp, because A, we get a refill at O2. Unidentified signal nearby. Okay, we talked to this dude, and he was super not helpful. What's that you're... We're just going to ask him all the stupid questions. Uh, best spot for... North Pole. Great reception. 
for sound with your signal scope. North Pole is marked in red on your mini map. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of uber space parkour. Man, every time I jump, I feel like I'm just going to fly right the fudge off into space. What do we have here? Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Okay, dude's playing banjo on Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Uh, someone should tell Porphy if I is not... Okay. Loud and clear today. So. Okay, so it sounds like we got somebody playing weird music from every planet. I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Hillspar's harmonica disappeared into space ages ago. It can't be him. Oh. So is the dude that they were talking about who went out first still back on that little crap hole of a planet that we were on. And what's with all the twinkly red lights around that planet over there? All right, let's just keep seeing what he's got to say here. It's still here. It's creepy. Um, why to enter signal scope? Okay, I'll bite. So, so far, I'm getting that we have to find people... Okay, he's probably on the other side of the planet. But now I gotta wait till we get a full rotation. So is this what we're doing? We're looking for people playing the music on other bodies. Uh, maybe I should just jump off into space so I can suffocate and then I'll be able to find what I'm looking for. Because then I'll be back at our home base. Alrighty. Let's jump in here and fly our flipping arses out to the planet that we started on. Just land. Land, dude. That's just gonna have to do. Now, I've definitely broken everything, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if I need a suit outside of town, but I'm still going to put it on, just in case. And see if I can drop through here. Oh, and fix, I, I wrecked my landing gear. And what else did I break? Oh, I broke my lights. Okay, they're fixed. Ooh. I almost smashed the cockpit, and that would have been bad. Autopilot was completely disabled. It's because the autopilot was trying to ram me into a planet. Let's talk to this dude. Okay, what are you still doing here? I saw someone crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the picture of my little scout. Okay, so what crashed? Um... Okay, are you just going to ramble on? Tell me what crashed, dude. I have to get a look at the inside. Help me haul out the old scout launcher over there. Okay. Find a scout launcher. Error duplicate signal? Okay, see if I put it right up its error, duplicate signal, look how far it's going. Okay. Okay, put that away. Maybe if I talk to this guy now. Okay, need something from me? 
I threw a scout into the seed. Uh, to chop up, no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? What? This is normal? Um... <sighs> this planet really does suck you in. Oh my goodness. And the roll from this is impossible to match. Ah! Uh, I am having lots of trouble matching the velocity of this thing. Okay. We're a little closer this time. I, I don't... I want to put it away. I want to put it away. Put away the scope. So this is where we saw some stuff breaking up. And we're in the planet again. Why do you keep crashing me into the damn planet? I don't want to be inside this planet. We've already died here enough. Ooh. Auroras, or am I dying? Shit biscuits. What just happened? I, I quite literally cannot tell you what just happened. I have no words to explain what we just crashed into. Hmm. So we're slowly loading, we're going backwards in time until we land our asses right back where we started. This is an intergalactic four-eyed Groundhog's Day. That just seems to be what it is. See, that's where I was trying to go. That thing that's blowing its ass up. We went to the comet that seemed to break it up. And that didn't give us a whole lot of help. Um, outside of that, there's not much of a recap. We basically got in, the, got in our ship and we've gone to... I think we've gone to every planet here. Each one seems to have something different. Um, we've encountered ghost matter, which always kills us. We've actually fallen into a singularity, and the other end of the singularity is also in orbit around this star. Uh, it turned into a spontaneous blue giant and melted us. That was just our most recent death. Um, yeah, there's been a lot that's happened. We've got the plant on the other side of this planet that seems to be connected to... Uh, a plant on another one of the planets. There is the giant plant planet that has a big mouth thingy at the middle that ate us as well. So far, everything in this world is hostile. And we don't know what's going on. Um, we use our scope. We talked to a dude on the moon who was whistling. And he heard somebody who was supposedly disappeared that was playing a harmonica. Following that led us to the other side of this world that has the uh, plant with a portal in the middle. And none of it makes sense. But that's I'm actually kind of liking that. I don't have any clue what's going on, but I've gotten all these little pieces and I know somehow they're going to fit together. I just don't know how. This will be something we're really going to have to kind of plug away at. And this may be something that will be the overtime type game. Not quite as uh, No Man's Sky-ish, where it was just wander around and eventually build stuff. We are finding things, we are learning little bits, but we're also dying a ridiculous amount. Yeah, so I think that's where we're going to leave it now. We are probably going to play this again. I might play this in between, just to see if I can find a few more clues and then bring it back. Um with a little less hodgepodge flying in random directions and crashing into crap and dying. If you've enjoyed this, please check out our YouTube channel, Excess Recess on YouTube. Again, this is Docs. It's been awesome uh, hanging out with you guys, and we'll see you again soon. Oh,